And the way it starts with like this tear and it's like, ah! I was like, this is the fucking heaviest thing I've ever heard in my life. I was at a store in Houston. I go to Houston a lot for shows, and we go to these. They had really good record stores, and I found Napalm Death from Enslavement to Obliteration. And on Marker, it was written fastest band in the world. This is the fastest album ever made, and I was like, oh man, I gotta have that. And that changed it. I was like, I have to go and discover more about this band. <laughs> Carcass. Terrorizer. Brutal Truth. Plastic Blur, Wehrmacht, Cryptic Slaughter. You know, I was not listening to the Beatles and then boom, that. I'm sure for someone that doesn't know Grindcore, they all just sound like A lot of politics involved, you know, rebellion and all that stuff. For me, I just love the sheer speed of Grind. Is it true, is there like no money in Grindcore? I, I mean, I wouldn't say there's a lot of money in Grindcore. Well, this oh, is the thing. broke as fuck, man. Like, yeah. I got one meal today. You just slept somewhere and it's the biggest shithole you ever slept at in your life. It's, it's not always fun. like this. We Sometimes we have a trailer, so this is, so, you know. All stupid stuff, like you do it and you're like, we're stupid. Booking your own shows, doing your own patches. It's time consuming. It gets crazy sometimes, but at the same time, there's something really rewarding to be knowing that you're hands on. That's what grindcore to me is. It's this whole like, do it yourself, fucking madness. You know, fuck the whole system. This is how it's gonna be. Fuck the government. You know, all that kind of shit. You just get in that zone and just go for it. I don't know. There's nothing else I could replace it with. Hey folks, Doug Brown here, director and producer for Slave to the Grind. We've been working on this documentary for nearly a full calendar year, and we're excited to start showing the world a little bit of what we have. As you can imagine, since we've only been filming in Toronto, Canada, our resources are a little limited, and not that many bands have been traveling through. We have an opportunity now to interview more than 45 musicians all around the world, now we need the funding to get to them. We're going to go to Maryland Death Fest, as well as Obscene Extreme, as well as to a lot of the critical locations that were important for starting this genre of music. Returning to the fans, as this is truly a DIY effort. As you can imagine, it's very difficult to secure financing for such an extreme documentary. So if you could help out in any way possible, $12,000 is our bare minimum just to get this thing off the ground. Grindcore means the absolute world to me, as does so many people around the world. Grindcore is not just about speed, and it's not just about a sound, and it's not just about politics or violence or gore. It's about a whole bunch of things and how they all work together. More importantly, it's about what the musicians themselves have to say about it. This is why we're getting them firsthand to comment. So I want to thank you very much for helping make this very honest and true documentary happen. And please share this around with any other grinders that you are friends with. Thank you very much.